Hello everyone, today we have to repair a beautiful 5 Sapphire Nitro 580 and uh, before we jump uh, into confirming a problem and uh, repair let's listen to a story about this graphic card mm -hmm. I have a Sapphire RX 580 Nitro 8GB which has no video out a brick while I was installing radio on driver there are no fans, light, hate video out. I can't find any detection in BIOS, uh, CPU-Z and so on. I reset my mobile BIOS and reinstalled with the latest version. I cleared the radio on drivers in a safe mode and attempted to flash with BIOS, but the card is all undetected. I checked both PCI's last with the other radio on uh, cards uh, which appear to be fine and PCI cables are good. This card is from Canada. Can you help? So we got that point and uh, Let's confirm our problem. Yeah, he sounds like he did a tons of job with the drivers and so on. Imagine if card right now turns on and everything what it needs is just called like installing the drivers. That's gonna be a heartbreaking video for a customer, but obviously I don't think so. That's what a problem. I think there's something else and uh, let's confirm it. Okay, so as we can see, yes, fans are not spinning, there is uh, no video out, and uh, uh, basically how we can see uh, by our postcodes, uh, a computer detects that something in a, post, uh, in a slot, but cannot detect what exactly. Uh, and so next our step, what we're gonna do is uh, <laughs> disassemble our card and start from a resistance uh, because those cards they are just loving dying from a short so hopefully we will straight and forward find a short the problem and uh, figure it out what to do with that uh, we are putting our multimeter into a resistance mode and uh, let's start from our main powers uh, on a 12 volt uh, we will check our, yeah, our fuses this one is good this one is good, we should have a zero ohms. This one is good, and this one is good. And um, uh, do we have a short on our 12 volt? No, we don't. Okay, and uh, on our 5 volt line, we will check over here on the line of stabilizer, and we have a kilo ohms, which is perfect, and 3.3 .3 volts from my PCI Express. We have kilo ohms, which is perfect. Um, then, yeah, let's move on to our, our chip. And by the way, those 3.3 .3 volts go to a chip also. And uh, uh, yeah, let's uh, start from our chip itself. We have our, we have our Omen F3, and on our tools, we have. We have a zero point one, so we have about ohm uh, resistance uh, on our chip, and for those chips, is a uh, very normal resistance. And uh, but if I can say it this way, I got a couple complaints about uh, people who think that this is not normal and chip needs to be replaced. Well, uh, um, also one of the ways how to check. I mean, why I'm saying no. And uh, the, the one of the ways how we can be sure that that's not a short is uh, yeah if we if we give a car into our chip so we put 800 millivolts and uh, I, I am just afraid putting more than one ampere even if it takes one ampere but I don't think so it should be less is uh, the, 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 the most of the the main point is if our power supply goes into a, let's say defending mode now like protection it takes ampere but how we can see but how we can see our power supply does not go into a, uh, defending mode so uh, we were gonna go and check all our phases, but eventually, if everything, all other phases will be good, I'm giving about 80% that this chip is um, in working condition. So let's uh, keep measuring on our memory. We have uh, 
33 ohms, which is in a range of normal. On our memory controller is also in the back. We have 24 ohms, which is in a range of normal, and now with PCI Express we have 22 ohms, which is in a range of normal. Also, we have a clock generator, 1.8 volts. We have a kilo ohms, which is even more than perfect. So, um, and so long so far, everything looks good. We're gonna put our record card back into our test stand, and now let's measure up all our powers. Chip is not getting hot, so our chip is safe. And uh, yeah, let's start from a chip. Um, obviously, we won't have any powers, um, but yeah, let's still check it out. Yep, we have zero. On our memory, we have zero. On our memory controller, we have zero. On PCI Express, we have zero. On a, mem uh, on a uh, clock generator, we have zero. Okay, okay, so we don't have any powers to our chip and let's then measure up all our main powers. Uh, 12 volt will measure on our line stabilizator. We have it, and on this same uh, line of stabilizer, we'll measure our 5 volts. We have it on a PCI 3.3 uh, volts from a PCI Express. We have it. Okay, so long so far. What is looking? We have a problem with one of our drivers. Um, <clears throat> uh, I would say that we have a problem with our main driver. Um, but let's start from something simple uh, because there's a whole story how to check it out. Uh, but I actually rang, uh, uh, rang it up and I didn't find any uh, lower resistance or any shorts. So let's move on. Uh, what other drivers we have here? Uh, okay. <coughs> we have. Um, All right, we have our uh, driver over here, which is APV APW8722. Uh, this driver gives the power to our memory controller, and same exact driver is located behind over here. And this driver gives the power to our uh, PCI Express. Uh, there, I don't see any more uh, drivers, A pin drivers, uh, and. Uh, uh, other we have a line of stabilizers where I mean this one I already we already check it fine and another LDO LDO regulator we have over here how I said it gives 1.8 volt to our clock generator which we are missing and uh, yeah this is GS7103 let me just double check yeah 7103 and uh, yeah, uh, and that's actually where we're gonna start me our measuring. On in we should have 3.3, .3 and on uh, enable we should have uh, on enable we should have 3.3, .3 and on our power we should have 3.3, .3 and on out we don't have it. So that's where we're gonna start. Uh, this one, since our graphic card is uh, uh, dual biased, uh, we have two flash biases, uh, two flashes over here. So this is our first one for our bias, and second one is located over here. Um, <clears throat> uh, so yeah, how I said, we're gonna start from our LDO regulator, and then we will, if uh, uh, we have to, we'll uh, measure up uh, all our drivers as well. But yeah, let's start from our LDO regulator. On in, we have 3.2, which is okay, and on out and uh, power we have 3.3, .3. and uh, on out is a six pin. We don't have uh, out. So <laughs> what I'm assuming, yeah, let's start from here. Uh, replace this LDO regulator and see if we have any changes. Actually, I have same exact graphic card for parts, and uh, yeah, I remember this graphic card. Also, one of my subscribers sent me this card, but he got unlucky, and his chip was uh, 
uh, in short and uh, yeah eventually a customer left me this card for parts uh, and uh, thank you so much because yeah remember his memory eventually appeared to be good I used it on another graphic card and I already took a couple keys from here um, and yeah if we're gonna f if we fix our card as well with this card I already got a our line stabilizer uh, it's right here. Now then we're gonna fix with this car already the third card. Lines creep while you and me repeat this bitter sweet heat is suffocating. I'm waiting and always hesitating. Kryptonite desires set my heart afire. Okay, preparing multimeter in case if we need it, and uh, let's plug our power to a graphic card, which is has a 12 pin, and uh, yeah, let's see what it does. Chip is slightly actually getting hot, 38, and yes, sir, we have a picture. We have a picture. So good so far. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised because I was thinking there is gonna be more than that but that's good that's really good and um, as always let's assemble it and run a couple stress tests on it I've been testing this car already for a while and so long so far no issues were found and bypassed all my stress tests I already played a game for like two hours on this graphic card mm, and uh, how okay, we can see uh, uh, driver was installed perfectly fine <sighs> Thank you for watching. Please put likes, dislikes, or if you have any thoughts, please put comment and subscribe for more videos on this channel. Thank you.